See you later. Sir, first time here, I think. Okay, let's take a look at it. Remember me, boy?
Come on now, boy. Take a look at that game. Don't understand this at all. Hey, over here. What's the problem? Problem? No, there's no problem. Quite the contrary. Well, there is a problem for me, but not for you. All right. <laughs> I ain't got time for no, this. No, no, wait. Give me a minute of your life. I might just change it forever. I'm sure you will have heard of me. Maximo Cristobal Valdespino, the renowned explorer. Can't say I have. There has been much written about me. I once had high tea with the Viceroy of India. I helped liberate South America. I've climbed mountains and swum across seas. I have had many women. I've spent the last three months hunting treasure on the American frontier. Beautiful country. Reminds me a lot of Almeria. But... Tomorrow I set sail for the island of Shikoku in the Japanese archipelago. 
in search of the legendary Tokushima Sapphire. Mm. Well, good for you. No, no, hold on. You see this map here? It was made by the Jack Hall gang. They robbed banks all the way from here to California. Yeah, I know who the Jack Hall gang are. Oh, them you have heard of, but me? Huh. Well, uh, rumor has it they buried gold somewhere in this area, but were killed before they could retrieve it. They created two maps to ensure it was well hidden. This is the first and should lead you to the second. You just need to follow the landmarks drawn here. Me? Yes. Unfortunately, I am out of time now, but I am prepared to sell it to you for the low price of $10. A trifling investment for a man such as you, given the potential returns. Well, I'm interested in the map, but not so interested in the haggle. Why don't you just hand it over instead? <laughs> uh, yes, <laughs> you're funny. Listen, give me the map. I'm done asking. Oh, oh my. Here, take it. Just let me be. Idiot.
Hey, listen! Arthur! Oh, Wait, Arthur! Are you seem in a good mood? I am, son. I am. Let's have some fun. Tonight. Let's enjoy ourselves. Are we having a party? Maybe. Just a little one. Great. So everything's going to be okay. Mr. McGuire is Uncle back. Sean is back. Come on! And don't you worry, Miss Chris. Sure you all crown. I'll keep them girls in line. If I have whip on my back. And don't you worry, Mr. Pearson, you drunk old shitbag. It'll be nothing but the, the finest game in the pot. Now dead eye McGuire's back. <laughs> and don't worry about nothing, Mrs. Grimshaw. We'll have this camp running like clockwork. I love you, bastards. <laughs> Have fun. Have lots of fun. Come on! You didn't need How much excuse. Somebody <laughs> needs to show you. Oh, is it done? Then I'm, I'm sure you will. Fun. He's been through a lot. I thought you Irish enjoyed a party, Molly. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. <that's the> one. <laughs> <laughs> Who will be a better man? Mark, well, what I did say. say. And she was Mr. Summer I put my hand upon her toe, Mark, well, what I do say? She says she's my man, right below, for the diddle, 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 all day. I put my finger on her knee, Mark, well, what I do say? She says my man, rather free, for the diddle, 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 all day. I put my arm around her waist, Mark, well, what I do say? She says your man, really great, for the diddle, 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 all day. I put my hand upon her thigh, Mark, well, what I do say? She says you get pretty high, do a diddle, 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 diddle all day. I put my she hand upon her thigh, Mark, well, what I do say? She says let's lay down on the grass, and diddle, 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 diddle all day. <laughs> and we diddle, diddle, did, too. <laughs> <laughs> But how about something a little more civilized? Ah, it's good to be back. I even missed you, <laughs> you old bastard. <laughs> and I missed a good excuse to celebrate. <laughs> Cheer up, Strauss. It's a party. What do you mean? I'm in an excellent mood. Oh, okay. Sorry. I can never tell. All right. Well, I should be getting on. Yeah, sounds good, Arthur. Gentlemen. Howdy do! All right there. Who 
Will you dance with me, Arthur? <laughs> yeah. Sure. I ain't much of a dancer. You think of me? <laughs> Sad in a good way, like a romantic poet. Well, that's about all I can muster. Uh. Oh. <laughs> well, well, well. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Began to tumble and roar. I don't need this right now. My face was as red as a lobster. What you preparing for? The greatest of gifts. An unguarded stagecoach. No, you simple minded fool. Bison. Bison? Bison. From which you can get anything. There's some over on the plains, I believe. I saw a couple a long way off. Oh. Right? Good luck. You want to come with me? I'll show you how we hunt one. Sure. Why not? Mount up then. Let's go. Time to go, boy. You know, it was before my time, of course, but. My mother used to tell me stories of how her tribe moved with the bison. They lived almost as one. Well, the bison went, my people went. And they were the center of all life. We couldn't survive without them. They provided us with everything. Food, clothing, shelter, tools. There was a lot of respect. Huh. my childhood, but I think my people we pretty much moved with the whiskey. <laughs> well, my father did that too. 
Let's try over here, to the left. Over there. You see them all? Incredible, aren't they? We should only kill one of them. I'll keep them ringed in and you see if you can bring one down. Okay? Clean as you can. Okay. Butcher it. Take the horns, too. It can all be used. Good job. Stow that on your horse and mount up. I wanna go check something out. 